This thing is more trouble than this world. <laughs> Y'all okay if I'm masking? Yeah. Y'all good? And if a train comes, we'll stop until it passes. <laughs> I am resurrection and I am life, says the Lord. Whoever has faith in me shall have life, even though he die. Everyone who has life and has committed himself to me in faith shall not die forever. As for me, I know that my Redeemer lives, that he shall stand upon the earth. After my waking, he will raise me up, and in my body I shall see God. As I myself shall see, and my eyes behold him, who is my friend and not a stranger. For none of us has life in himself, and no one becomes his own master when he dies. For if we have life, we are alive in the Lord, and if we die, we die in the Lord. So then, whether we live or die, we are the Lord's possession. Happy from now on are those who die in the Lord, so it is, says the Spirit, for they rest from their labors. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O God, who by the glorious resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, destroyed death and brought life and immortality to life, grant that your servant, Stuart, being raised with him, may know the strength of his presence and rejoice in his eternal glory, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. reading from the Old Testament. Surely God is my salvation. I will trust and will not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my might. He has become my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. And you will say that day, give thanks to the Lord, call on his name, make known his deeds among the nations, proclaim that his name is exalted. Sing praises to the Lord, for he has done gloriously. Let this be known in all the earth. Shout aloud and sing for joy, O Lord of Zion. For great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us say together Psalm 46. God is our hope and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth be moved, though the hills be carried into the midst of the sea, the waters thereof rage and swell, or the mountains shake at the tempest of the same. There is a river, the streams whereof make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacle of the most highest. God is in the midst of her, Therefore shall she not be removed. God shall help her, and that right early. Be still then, and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. A reading from the book of Revelation. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, See, the home of God is among mortals. He will dwell with them as their God. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more for the first things have passed away. And the one who was seated on the throne said, 
see, I am making all things new. Also, he said, write this, for these words are trustworthy and true. Then he said to me, it is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty, I will give water as a gift from the spring of the water of life. Those who conquer will inherit these things, and I will be their God, and they will be my children. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us say together that portion of Psalm 120, 106 found in your bulletin. Hallelujah. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Who can declare the mighty acts of the Lord? show forth all his praise. Happy are those who act with justice and always do what is right. Remember me, O Lord, with the favor you have for your people and visit me with your saving help, that I may see the prosperity of your elect and be glad with the gladness of your people, that I may glory. A reading from the Gospel according to John. Martha said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother Lazarus would not have died. But even now I know that God will give you whatever you ask of him. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus said to her, I'm the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me, even though they die, will live. But everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. You believe this. She said to him, yes, Lord. I believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God, the one coming into the world. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And the assurance of eternal life given at baptism. Let us proclaim our faith and say, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, Deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. For our brother Stuart, Stuart let us pray to the, our Lord Jesus Christ who said, I am resurrection and I am life. Lord, you consoled Martha and Mary in their distress. Draw near to us all who mourn for Stuart and dry the tears of those who weep. You wept at the late grave of Lazarus, your friend. Comfort us in our sorrow. You raise the dead to life. Give to our brother eternal life. You promised paradise to the thief who repented. Bring our brother to the joys of heaven. Our brother was washed in baptism and anointed with the Holy Spirit. Give him fellowship with all your saints. He was nourished with your body and blood. 
Give him a place at that table in your heavenly kingdom. Comfort us in our sorrows at the death of our brother. Let our faith be our consolation and eternal life, our hope. We seem to give him back to thee, dear God, who gavest him to us. Yet, as thou dost not lose him in giving, so we have not lost him by his return. Not as the world giveth, givest thou, O lover of souls. What thou givest, thou takest not away. But what is thine is ours always, if we are thine. And life is eternal, and love is immortal. And death is only a horizon. And a horizon is nothing save the limit of our sight. Lift us up, O God, that we may see further. Cleanse our eyes that we may see more clearly. Draw us closer to thyself, that we may know ourselves near to our beloved who are with thee. And while thy son prepareth a place for us, prepare us for that happy place that where they are and thou art, we too may be with the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, who bindest us to life by holy and tender ties, we gratefully recall all that Stuart was to us, all that he stood for in the world. May we live even more constantly in the companionship of his spirit and carry out in the old spheres in which we together move so much of his purpose as we can. May we be kind to the friends he loved, devoted to the community in which he lived, loyal to the causes which he served. Thus in our life, may he still live on to our own comfort and the welfare of thy world through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our heavenly Father, we commit to thy unfailing love, the beloved soul of thy servant, Stuart. We thank thee for the gracious memories which gather about his life for his kindly deeds and unselfish thoughts, for love freely given and mo love modestly received. And now at last for quiet release from the burden of the flesh and entrance into the peace reserved for those who love thee. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We thank thee, O God, for the goodness and courage which have passed from the life of this thy servant into the life of others and have left the world richer for his presence. For a life's task faithfully and honorably discharged for good humor and gracious affection and kindly generosity. Sadness met without surrender and weakness endured without defeat through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Father, we pray to you for Stuart and for all those whom we love but see no longer. Grant to them eternal rest. Let light perpetual shine upon them. May his soul and the souls of all the departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Everyone that the Father gives me will come to me, and I will never turn away anyone who believes in me. He who raised Jesus Christ from the dead will also give new life to our mortal bodies by his indwelling spirit. My heart, therefore, is glad, and my spirit rejoices. My body also shall rest in hope. Show me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy, and at your right hand are pleasures forevermore.
and sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ. We commend to Almighty God, our brother Stuart. We commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. The Lord bless him and keep him. The Lord make his face to shine upon him and be gracious to him. The Lord lift up his countenance upon him and give him peace. Amen. Go like this. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Merciful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the resurrection and the life, raise us, we humbly pray, from the death of sin to the life of righteousness. And when we depart this life, we may rest in him. And at the resurrection, receive the blessing which your beloved Son shall then proclaim. Come, you blessed of my Father, receive the kingdom prepared for you from the beginning of the world. Grant this, O merciful Father, through Jesus Christ, our mediator and redeemer. Amen. Rest eternal, grant him, O Lord. May his, may his soul and the souls of all the departed through the mercies of God rest in peace. Amen. The God of peace who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, the great shepherd of the sheep through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well pleasing in his sight. Through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen.
The God is at the back. Like you need to say this place to put in the Thank <laughs> you. 